Today I'm showing another tag and it's a spooky one. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi if you're new, I'm Lydia and today I'm going to be sharing a Disney tag. This one is going to be a Halloween one so I'm really excited about it. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you can see more videos from me, more tags, more Disney videos, hauls, pins, all of that good stuff. And also, if you are subscribed, make sure to click the notification bell to know when I post a video so you don't miss out on anything. As you can tell, I'm really excited for this video, but I wasn't tagged in this tag. Um, I actually found this video from the Disney Gingers YouTube page, uh, YouTube channel. She did this tag and she quote, brought it back from the dead um, because it's a tag that's been going around for a few years and she brought it back and I'm so happy that she did because I wouldn't have known about it otherwise and I love tags, I love Halloween and I love Disney so I thought I would take part in it and I've actually tagged a few other Disney YouTube channels which I'll mention at the end of the video so stay tuned to see who I've tagged. I will leave the links down below to the creator of the tag and also the Din Disney Gingers YouTube YouTube channel as well so you can check out her video which inspired me and I will also leave the links to all of the other channels that I mention uh, that I tag at the end of this video. There are 13 questions which I think is quite cool considering it's a Halloween tag. I think that's amazing. So the first question is who is your favourite Disney villain and why? So I have a lot of favourite villains um, as probably a lot of you do. I'm going to mention four of my favourite Disney villains because I can't narrow it down. Um, I I just love these guys so much and they are so evil so um, I love Oogie Boogie, Scar, Hades and Maleficent they are like my four main ones. The second question is what is your favourite Disney villain song so again I have a couple these are just such a bop and a jam and I just love listening to these songs. I love the Oogie Boogie song from Nightmare Before Christmas love that song. Kidnap the Sandy Claws also from Nightmare Before Christmas and if you didn't know a little side note I'm kind of rambling here but I actually went to the Nightmare Before Christmas live concert last year so in December 2019 and I got to see all of the actors up on stage singing these songs and I got to watch the film in like an arena and I got to see like Danny Elfman, um, Catherine O'Hara like all of the like original cast up on stage which was just insane like I didn't feel like it was real and even now when I think back to it, I'm just like, did I actually do that? Did I actually see all of the main actors on stage? Then one other villain song that I absolutely love is Friends on the Other Side from Princess and the Frog. I love Dr. Facilier and I love that song. That song, again, is such a jam. I love like singing along to it and listening to it. I just love that film. I love Princess and the Frog anyway. Favourite Disney Halloween song? So I have two favourite Halloween songs that are just my absolute faves. I love listening to these around this time of year. We're getting into October and autumn and Halloween season. So the first one is from Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm saying this film a lot in this video. The first one is This Is Halloween. How can you not mention that song? Like it's a classic Halloween song and again, it's such a jam. I love listening to it. Um, I loved it in the film, like it's just fab. And the next one is Grim Grinning Ghosts, that's really hard to say, um, from the Haunted Mansion. If you did know, Haunted Mansion is one of my favourite, favourite rides at Disney and that song is just absolutely amazing. <laughs> I love like singing to it again and I just love hearing it on the ride yeah i just think it's a great song and i just had to mention that one as well the next question is who is your favorite villain psychic so as you can probably tell i don't just have one answer for this i have a couple so i love pain and panic they're just absolutely hilarious aren't they like they are so comical and just <laughs> so funny i love them too and um, i also love shock lock and barrel who is your favorite disney monster now i kind of thought about this question and i'm gonna say sully from Monsters Inc because he's a monster. He, yeah, he's not like evil, but he's a monster and I love Sully. He's like one of my favorite characters from Monsters Inc. I would say Sully because he's a monster and he's cute, he's fluffy, he's absolutely adorable. The next question is, what is your favorite dark ride at Disney? 
and of course I'm going to mention Haunted Mansion because it's my favourite, it's so so amazing and if you haven't ridden Haunted Mansion then you have to. And another ride that I'm going to mention is Pirates of the Caribbean because if you didn't know I'm a massive Pirates of the Caribbean fan, I grew up watching the films, I love all the characters and I just love the ride. So yeah, I would say Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean. The next question is a really hard one, Haunted Mansion or Nightmare Before Christmas Mansion, so the over overlay that they have um, at Disneyland in California. So I haven't done the overlay, I haven't done the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, version because I haven't visited a Disneyland Resort. It's on the bucket list though, I am hopefully going to be doing that in the near future. Hopefully it's not going to be too long before I can actually go to Disneyland and see the original park. So I'm going to have to say the classic Haunted Mansion ride. The next question is pumpkin or regular beignets. So we have tried the regular beignets and they are amazing. They are like one of my favorite snacks at Disney. Absolutely love them, so they are so yummy. So I haven't tried the pumpkin ones, but fun fact, they were there when we went to Walt Disney World in August of 2019. For some reason we we didn't do them, we completely missed it. I don't know whether I forgot or I'm not sure. Um, so I'm really sad about that because they were literally right there. I remember seeing them and yeah, I, I don't know why we didn't try them but I would assume that I would love the <laughs> pumpkin ones because I love pumpkin flavours and drinks and snacks, like I just love everything pumpkins. The next question is a fun one, so it is Ghost Galaxy or the classic Space Mountain. So if you don't know, Ghost Galaxy is the overlay that they have at the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party where they basically have um, Space Mountain all in the dark, like it's completely pitch black. And I know Space Mountain is pretty much in the dark anyway, but you can still kind of see like things kind of flashing around, uh, whizzing around, but this one is completely in the dark. I didn't actually know it was called Ghost Galaxy um, until I watched the Disney Gingers uh, tag. And I realized that I've actually done this version um, because we went to the Halloween party in August, 2019 and we did it once or twice maybe and it was so scary it was insane and so intense but i'm so glad that i did it because it was so fun to experience it everything was pitch black literally no lights on at all you didn't know where you were going you didn't know if you were going left or right or up or down like it was it was insane and it made the ride feel faster as well in a way maybe because you couldn't see like things flashing around. If I'm not wrong, they had like spooky music in the background or like Halloween music. Let me know down below if I'm wrong, but I'm sure I remember them playing like spooky music or something on the ride. So yeah, I have done Ghost Galaxy and I would have to say that that's my favorite one. The next question is favorite Halloween treat at the parks. So we have only been to uh, the parks once during Halloween season. We didn't try that many. Um, and I don't think we tried any at the party purely because we were just running around trying to catch characters or going on the rides or you know seeing the parades and the shows but we did try the candy corn popcorn and it was amazing they had got like little pieces of candy corn in there along with just like regular popcorn and it was really really good it was also my first time trying candy corn because we don't have candy corn in the UK um, so it was my first time trying it and I absolutely loved it candy corn is like one of my favorite sweets now especially favorite halloween sweets next question is who is a halloween character slash villain who you would want to meet at the parks who you wish you could meet at the parks so i am going to say jack and sally purely because i haven't met them before and i would love to meet them i'd probably freak out if i met them so i'm going to say jack and sally but i'm also going to say a villain a disney villain that you can't meet at the parks i don't think she's ever been in the parks before which is kind of sad, but I personally would love to meet her. I think it'd be so cool to meet her in person. 
So I'm going to say Madame Medusa from The Rescuers. I'll put a photo here if you don't know who, what she looks like. Um, but I love The Rescuers. It is like such an underrated film. I just can't believe how underrated it is. And it's one of my favourite films. Um, so I would say Madame Medusa because I think that would be pretty cool. If you could go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, who would you dress up as? Um, so I would probably dress up as a ghost host um, from Haunted Mansion or like a maid or like a grave digger or something like that. I think that would be so cool. I am going to put some photos here of what me and my family dressed up as uh, last year when we went to the party. We dressed up as three Magic Kingdom lands because I thought that would be quite funny to do. Um, so I dressed up as Fantasyland, my mum dressed up as like Tomorrowland and then my brother dressed up as Frontierland and we all had like different kind of items. Uh, to resemble the different lands so we had like a pin or I had my princess ears I had a, a evil queen bag on it was really fun to do that like subtle Disney bound outfit kind of but yeah definitely in the future I would love to do like a full-on outfit like a full-on costume Halloween costume and be like a ghost host or a maid that would be really cool and then the final question number 13 is favorite part of the Halloween party so can I just mention everything because I just love that party it was so immersive and amazing from like the shows so the uh, hocus pocus show the new fireworks that they did last year with the jack skellington puppet that was just incredible and the fireworks were amazing um the characters we met elvis stitch for the first time which was just fab we got a lot of candy in like bags uh where they do like the trick or treat like sections um, the rides as well, obviously being on Space Mountain in the dark, there was also the uh, spooky um, overlay on the teacups which was so cool. There were also live actors in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride which was amazing and in the queue which was so funny. Um, and they also had uh, like actors in the courtyard bit outside of Haunted Mansion um, and they would talk to you and they were dressed up in like these really cool outfits. Obviously boo to you parade how did how could i forget that boo to you parade is absolutely amazing i love the music the soundtrack is just such a jam <laughs> i love it so much and just seeing all the all the floats and the different villains and the costumes on the parades are just absolutely amazing yeah i just love everything about the party and i would 100 percent go again it was so amazing so there's all of the questions and my very long answers um i hope you enjoyed this video it was so fun to do i absolutely loved this tag but now i'm going to tag three other Disney YouTube channels. So I'm going to tag Caitlin and Corinne. I'm also going to tag Gemma and the final person I'm going to tag is Maria. Make sure to check out all of those channels and I can't wait to see their answers as well. Also I tag you as well to take part in this video. I will put all of the questions down below in case you want to do it for yourselves. Um, it's a really fun one to do especially around this time of year. That is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure to give this video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it and seeing like Halloween content and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't done already and yeah i will see you in my next video bye